how do I demonstrate generous leadership? Because that, that's what I always want to know. It's like, great, this is a great concept. Wow, awesome. But how do I actually do it? And let me just give you some examples of some of my clients, what I've seen done in my own life. Um, and, and the first one is financially. That's the easy one, right? When you think about generosity, you can financially give. But I have a client, and I won't say his name. I don't want to embarrass him or anything. But uh, he is the owner of a Chick-fil-A. And when we had the freeze two years ago, so not the most recent little ones, but the one where, you know, they were shut, we were shut down for five days, uh, some of us. Well, all of these Chick-fil-A's, their freezers, they don't have generators. Their freezers went out, all their meat thawed out. They had to dispose of it. And um, do they get credits for some of it from Chick-fil-A? Hopefully they kind of had to work that out and figure that out. But they're a business owner and they just have to, they have to eat it. Well, they also, this particular operator that, I'm, that I know and am thinking of, he also knew that his team was unable to work during this time and they have bills to pay. And he decided during that time, and there's only one out of the five at the time that I, I was working with, he decided I'm gonna go ahead and pay everybody as if they were working during this freeze, hourly employees, even though I'm not open for business and they're not working and there is nothing they can do to pay me back, right? They can't come in, they can't get off the road, they can't do anything, but I'm gonna do this as a gift to them as a generous leader. So that's one way. I mean, that's a big way to, to show generous leadership. Another way is through mentorship. Um, you know, I, I'm a product of mentorship. I'm a product of people investing in me, different people at different times in my life, investing in me through mentorship. My dad has invested in me through mentorship and mentoring me in um, how to, I, I mentioned it in the book, right? How to, how to work with people, how to interact with people, how to connect with people, how to um, help people when they're having really hard times, really struggling times, how to empathize with people. Mentorship is a huge way of giving to people where you can be a generous leader and you can do it officially. Um, you can do it in an official capacity where it's like, hey, I have a mentorship process. I've done that before. Um, I, I've had a, a great book called Leadership Gold by John Maxwell that I would lead people through a six month process where we meet weekly and I would mentor them. That's wonderful. But I've also had times where I've been mentored by people and it was uh, when I reached out to them and I'd reach out and I'd say, hey, can I get some help in this area? And they'd mentor me through that, or they would, maybe I'd go another month and I'd say, hey, I did what you said. Now, can you help me in this other way? And I've been mentored throughout different transitions throughout my life. And I really encourage you, how do you identify a mentor? How do you find a mentor? Well, find someone that's living your dream. Find someone that is living an aspect of your dream that is successful in the area that you want to be successful and just reach out to them and ask, right? Um, now I'm encouraging you to do this. I'm encouraging you to be available as a mentor and um, to, to put yourself out there, but maybe you're looking for a mentor. I encourage you, you can do this on social media. I have interviewed a, a bank president of a um, you know, publicly traded bank just by reaching out on LinkedIn. I have connected with a, um, the, the um, original COO of Chick-fil-A. How? Through reaching out on LinkedIn. I had a phone conversation with the guy. Um, I've been mentored by an international conference speaker. How? By just reaching out on Facebook and asking if, if they'd mentor me. So people are accessible. Mentorship is a huge way where you can demonstrate um, uh, generosity as a leader. Okay, another way, influence. So you can lend your influence. And this can be, this can maybe be a form of networking, but you can be generous in your, your leadership by lending your influence, opening doors for people where they would have no way of having that door open for them otherwise. I've been able to sit in meetings I wouldn't be able to sit in if I didn't have someone who lended their influence to me and said, you should invite Drew in this room. Uh, you know, I'm able to say I'm a John Maxwell certified coach. Why? John has lent his name to me, his brand, his you know, 40 year coming in on 50 year career that he's built with multiple best selling books and all that kind of stuff, right? He has lent me my influence. Now I have to do well with that, but that's another way of people, generosity, generous leaders. How can you, how can you demonstrate this generosity as a leader? You can lend your influence to those around your life. 
Um, now you got to be careful with that, right? And people have to do well with it. But um, I mean, I just think of of with the book endorsements. One in particular, a guy that I don't know at all, um, Ron Edmondson, let me his influence, gave me an endorsement, multi uh, multi time author, podcaster, speaker, leadership guy, said I'll put my name on this guy. I'll lend my influence to them. That's generous, right? That's generous leadership. Um, all right, another way, number four, commitment. And this is where we can be generous in our leadership if we are not the senior leader. Maybe you're working in an organization where it's not your company, but you can lead in generosity through your commitment to that organization. If you're familiar with Napoleon Hill, um, he wrote a couple books, books on success and the most successful people in his time. But he talks about a principle of giving more than you get. And he said, and I talk about this with, with young people. I've known it to be true in my own life. I was just having a coaching session with a client who is having needing to have this conversation with one of his team members. But uh, the principle is this. This was a principle he got from the most successful people around the 19. Uh, hundreds, 1920s. The principle is this: if you if you give more than you get, eventually you eventually you'll be compensated more than you're worth. And and so there is kind of of an opportunity to get with this this one and, and giving generously. But um, but that's a principle. I'm telling you, if you're in an organization and you um, you want to really differentiate yourself. In the organization, be generous with your commitment. Be generous with your time in that organization. Give more than you than you get or than you're compensated for, and uh, eventually it'll pay off, and you'll be promoted, and you will be looked to as someone that they can the organization can lean on when they need someone they can trust. So commitment uh, number five: give credit. Be generous in giving credit to those around your life. I've, I've worked in an organization, uh, did coaching with an entire staff team, and they hit a huge milestone within their organization. They got awards for it, um, but it wasn't a goal that the organization set. It, it was a revenue goal, but it wasn't one that they said, hey, this year, we're going to set a super high revenue goal, and, um, and let's get all the leaders involved and go for it. They didn't set the goal, but they did achieve it and the team had to do the work to achieve it. Well, um, there was a little bit of a rub because there was no acknowledgement among the middle management that they, that they achieved the goal. And the, the response from the senior leadership, the executive team was, well, we weren't even trying to do it. We just kind of did it by chance. And the, the response of the middle managers was, yeah, but we did the work to do it. Like we still had to put out the work, even though we didn't set the goal, we achieved the goal, which means that we had to work that much harder to, to achieve that goal. And so not even to be recognized that we, we did that, it stings, right? So that's once again, another way where there was a missed opportunity to generously give credit. Does it hurt at all? This is just what I got to ask you. Like, when, I, I don't understand because I'm big with generously giving credit to those, to those around me, to those on my team, to those that, that help me achieve a goal because it really doesn't cost me anything, right? It doesn't take any shine away from me or anything that I do, but it, it does um, in the heart of the person that I'm, I'm giving the credit to, they go, thank you. Thank you. All I wanted you to do is recognize that I had to put in some work to do this. And so giving credit is huge. I mean, it's a huge one that really doesn't cost you anything except some thoughtfulness um, and, and some, some time to think about who has contributed to this. Um, there's no, there's no self-made person, right? Nobody has gotten to where they're at on their own. Sure. We, we work hard. We pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. I get it. Whatever. You put yourself through school, you do whatever. Great. Awesome. You're not self-made where there are people along the way that added value to you, that contributed to your life, that, 
you know, helped you out, let you crash on their couch, you know, whatever the case is along the way to where you got. So um, giving credit and recognizing that once again, it's good for your heart as a leader, but it also is good for your leadership as you give credit to your team and those around your life. And then um, the sixth way that you can uh, lead in generosity, you can be a generous leader is simply through your time. Um, time's a big deal, right? We can't make up time. Uh, we can make more money. You can't make more time. Once it's used, it's gone. And as we get older in our life, we tend to recognize that more and more, that time is precious, that time is limited. It's a limited resource. Uh, so when I think about this, I can't help but think about you all. And um, all of you that signed up to be on the launch team, all of you that wrote um, reviews, all of you that read my book, that shared on social media, you gave of your time. I mean, you gave of your influence. Some of you who have, have uh, written books or been on launch teams before, you gave of your mentorship. You gave me um, you know, fantastic feedback that I can use to just get better the next time, but you gave your time and you supported me. And, and I cannot tell you enough how much that means to me. Uh, it, it absolutely, there is no way. And, I, and I'm, not, I'm not just blowing smoke, right? <laughs> there is no way that I could have hit a number one um, new selling list on Kindle without you. There's no way that I could have got a number five best selling without you. There's no way that I could have got a number eight in, um, you know, free, that's they still call it bestseller. It's kind of weird, but, um, number, number eight in free, um, uh, Kindle books right now, right? Why is that? That's because of you. That's because of every one of you that have helped out with this and you gave your time, you, you sacrificed your time. You could be doing other things to benefit yourself. And, uh, and there's nothing, I mean, I can't, I can't do anything, uh, in response for you, right? You did it out of your own volition to support me and to help me out. And for that, I will be eternally grateful um, to every one of you that have led in generosity um, with me. And so with that, that's, uh, that's all I have.